In this video, we'll factor the equation x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. What we're really trying to do is figure out what values of x, if we plug them in, will make all of this equal to 0, so it'll be a true statement. If we had the graph, we could figure it out right away. So here's our graph, and we're looking for what values of x on the graph, this parabola, equals 0. That's where it crosses the x-axis. So we already know the solution should be minus 3 and minus 2. But if you didn't have the graph, you'd have to factor the equation to figure that out. Let's do that. So let's use these rules here to factor x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. First, we set up our skeleton. Since both of these are positive, that means that everything in our parentheses will be positive. So that's kind of nice. Now we'll find the factors here of this term that add up to 5. So if we look at 6, here's 6. 6 could be 6 times 1. That's a factor of 6, but it doesn't add up to the 5 here that we're looking for. 3 times 2, that equals 6. And 3 plus 2 is 5. So if we put a 3 and a 2, we should have just factored this equation. We should check this using the FOIL method here. First, outside, inside, last. When we do that, we have the first term, that's x times x, x squared plus the last term, x times 2 is 2x, plus inside, that's 3x, plus the very last term, 3 times 2 is 6. So x squared, this is 5x here, plus 6, that's the equation. So this is correct. We found the factors here. We're not quite done yet, though. One last thing. We want to find the values of x that make this whole equation 0. So if x were equal to minus 3, minus 3 plus 3, 3, that equals 0 times minus 3 plus 2. Really doesn't matter because 0 times anything is going to be 0. So x equals minus 3. That's one of the solutions. If we had a minus 2 for x, if x were to equal minus 2, we'd have minus 2 plus 3 times minus 2 plus 2. Minus 2 and 2, that's 0. So 0 times anything equals 0. So this is also a solution the equation here. And all of this makes sense because if we go back to our graph here, we have our minus 3 and our minus 2, just like we found when we factored the equation. If you put minus 3 in for x, minus 3 squared plus 5 times minus 3 plus x, that'll equal 0. If you put minus 2 in, minus 2 squared plus 5 times minus 2 plus 6, that'll also equal 0. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Thanks for watching.